Anne was a struggling 20-year-old college student with a dead on her back and a panic attack just around the corner. After having a hard time keeping up with everything, she decided to take another job. She answered an ad she found, seeking a caretaker at an ill woman's home. She was apprehensive at first. I mean, she had no training in that field. But times were tough, and beggars couldn't afford to be choosers. How hard could it be? Anne thought to herself. She pulled up in front of the home. It looked like a cute little quaint cottage, something you'd imagine from a Disney family film. After exiting her car, Anne gave the place a once-over. Car parked in the driveway. It looked to have been sitting for some time, as there were cobwebs dangling from the tires that had gone flat. Front lawn could use a nice once-over. But overall, the place was harmless. Anne stood there waiting patiently on the front porch. After no immediate response, Anne heard the floorboards from the other side of the door creak. Someone was waiting on the other side, but hesitated to open the front door. This seemed rather particular to Anne. Hello? She called out. Still no answer. Floorboards creaked again. Still no response. Anne took this as a little off. She felt that whoever was on the other side of that door was watching her or waiting a bit longer, making Anne feel she was being played or judged. She turned to leave, thinking she lost out on this job, when suddenly the door opened slightly ajar, slowly behind her. A tall woman who looked to be in her late forties dressed in a formal sweater and a pair of slacks, something you'd wear to a business lunch, hair wrapped in a bun, stood there, staring at Anne as if she had been the one waiting on Anne. Anne took a second, trying to figure out if the woman would speak first or if she was supposed to say something. So she took it upon herself and introduced herself. Hi, I'm Anne, she said extending her hand, walking towards the woman. I think we spoke on the phone? The woman looked over Anne's proposed handshake, and then looked back up at her. You're late, the woman said. Come, we've been waiting. Anne, with a look of confusion, responded to the woman. Uh, the notice said eight. It's now 8.10, the woman snarled. I knocked and knocked, but no one responded. I hope this is not behavior we can look forward to. The woman then turned and walked back into the house, leaving the door ajar for Anne. Anne was hesitant. She peeked her head through the doorway and looked around, pulling back, looking around the neighborhood for reassurance. After much contemplation, Anne entered the house and closed the door. It took her no time to notice the vintage 60s style theme to the house. Long carpets mapped out through the halls, the banisters stern of redwood. She stood there, trying to figure out where she should go. In here, the woman called out from the den. Anne moved inch by inch, as if to expect something horrific to jump out at her from behind a door as she entered the living room. When she finally entered, she noticed the pristine pair of stained glass doors that welcome you when you enter the den. The woman stood dominantly behind an old frail woman in a wheelchair, staring blankly out the front window. Mother? The woman asked. This is her. The old woman then turned the wheelchair back around to face Anne. Anne stood there frozen, as she gazed upon the frightening appearance of this woman. Stiff white hair, pale in the skin, an eye socket empty. Anne shrieked. <gasps> oh, don't be frightened, the old woman assured Anne. Anne was embarrassed. She caught her breath and attempted to straighten herself up. I'm so sorry, 
I don't mean to offend. I, I was just caught off guard. No offense taken, my dear, the old woman replied. Anne resumed her stance, straightening her back as to not sound so shrill. Really, I'm very sorry. I don't know what came over me. It's perfectly normal, the old woman chuckled, tapping the other woman beside her, then looking back at Anne, relieving some tension from her. He's the one you should watch out for. Suddenly, Anne was still. She could feel the fresh brush of someone pressed up against her back. A rush of fear over her as she moved around to turn and see. A large man, distorted with heinous scars and stringy hair, breathing heavily, staring at Anne as if he was seeing his next meal. The End <laughs>